Dear Lord, I'm going to try to make it, but I don't, th I don't think I can without you. Carl Amos says he was doing yard work last Friday when bees started attacking him out of nowhere. I hit some of them with my hands, and you just can't kill them fast enough. Amos says they covered every inch of his body. They got in my hair, and they were going in my ears and in my nose. I thought, I better keep my mouth shut. Because they'll get those, those bees, they'll be in my mouth. And he did everything to get rid of them. I crunched them, and then they didn't come out. And so I blew, some of them came out, then I stuck my finger in my nose and pulled them out. When he tried to run, Amos ended up getting hurt. I fell to the ground, and I knew I had broken my leg because I heard it pop. So I thought, this is not good. Amos says he was down for three hours. I said, dear God, it if I don't get help, I'm not going to make it. Until a good Samaritan came and called for an ambulance. When he got to the hospital, the doctor says she's never seen so many stingers. I would say over 100. Um, he had so many on his face and his hands. Removing them took a group effort. A lot of the nurses and techs kind of formed together to try to get as many as we could out before we um, transferred him over to the other, other campus to where he would have his hip surgery. Amos was taken to Norman Regional Health Plex for hip surgery. He is there now recovering and says without the man finding him and calling for help, he would not be alive. I feel I owe my life. In Norman, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 